So do you want to explain quantum physics to us and how it shows that a god exists? Um, <clears throat> hold on, eh? hold on. Sure. Um, how does quantum physics show that God exists? But he has such a long, so much to talk about. Um, well, I don't know where to start. I guess, I guess for me, um, one of the main, well, I, I, so for me, I think that the collapse of the wave function it is very dominant of God's existence. Hold on. Now, so, so a lot of people, this is the thing, this is the thing. For me, when it comes to the, the consciousness aspect of quantum physics, it's still not clear. I mean, no, no, it's still, it's, it's very clear to me, but it's still not clear to a lot of people, right? And, and for me, I, I'm, I'm not only validated by Einstein, who also believed, some people, this is what some people believe. Some people believe that the wave function collapses itself. And then some people believe that it really, really does take consciousness to do it right but for me i mean what is your take taco before i continue do you think do you think that the the wave Bro, collapse? can you not like hear how like if you could use my ears to hear what you just said <laughs> i, 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 it, I it, was like, it was like your brain was like I, having bad latency <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So when you're proving God, my opinion doesn't matter. So what? Just I, I, I want to hear it all. Well, I mean, Taco, I'm so tired. But I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, okay. So for me, the one of the main aspects is like, is the uh, decoherence, right? So I know for a fact that regardless if so basically, when when they were, for me, the observer effect, right? So it's either, it's either, regardless if the recording device, metering device, um, collapsed the wave function. To me, it still was observed. It was still a way, right? It was still a way of of the atom going through. I mean, of the electron. Sorry, the photon going through the slit. Right. So to me, it's, it's so to me either I don't know. It's it's a very complicated thing now that I think about it. But I think Taco, what I'm trying to say with all this here in my thought process is that um, the way the recording device works is that the the photon knew as if it was conscious. Right. It didn't do that with anything else, that no other object. It only did that with the recording device, right? I'm not even going into quantum delay effect or, or um, the quantum eraser. I'm sticking to, the, to, to Young's double slit, right, to prove a point, okay? So for me, when, when the recording device is decoding, you know, and, and taking these wavelengths, Right. How is it that the photon changed? Right. You can't say that the photon observed itself and collapsed itself. Right. You have to say that there's an ex there must be an external factor. Okay, because there's nothing else in its vicinity that collapsed the wave function but the recording device. So it's either it's either that the electron sorry the photon knew that it was aware of it being recorded right which sounds very extreme or or it knew that it was a conscious observer looking through the lens 
So, I mean, how do you explain that on the scale of deterministic and naturalistic worldview? How can you explain to me that even regardless, even if, even if it's not an immediate conscious observer, the atom is still, sorry, the, the photon is still aware, self-aware, not aware, self-aware, because it's making this uh, determination, it's making, right, that the recording device is observing it to be observed later on. Okay, I don't know if it could be, I don't know, I just don't, I can't figure it out. Maybe I'll get back to you with a more, you know, um, better processed explanation, Taco, but you put me on the spot and, um, and I haven't dived into QM in a long time. But um, for me, it's just like consciousness does, it, it is not, it, we're not like just passive in the universe, you know, we are actively um, changing what's in front of us. I truly believe that because there's no way that um, that the photon, even if you know, it just doesn't. It does not add up, bro. It has to be a conscious, some sort of determination, some sort of decision making for the for the uh, photon to have collapsed. So, I mean, however you want to put it into perspective, there must be, and, and there's no way that we can figure out the mechanism for it. There's no way. Because it's already collapsed, and how is it, you know, doing these things, um, um, Taco? So how does that prove the God thing? Well, what it proves is that that the unravelment of the Big Bang, um, what it shows is that it's, it was not purely random. Because if the unravelment of the Big Bang, Big Bang is pre, has a prerequisite for conscious observers to solidify the physical universe, then it more pleads that the universe was designed. Right? So, you know, that is one point I've always held to. And I think now you have me wanting to go back into the quantum erase and the lady fact to prove, to, to confirm that consciousness does um, change the wave function, right? But that was one reason, Taco. Because if, let's just say, regardless if it's a recording device, Right, regardless if it is an, an observed conscious, I mean, if it's an observer, right, a conscious observer, right, it's still changing its state. And how is it doing this? And why is it only doing it for decision makings, right? Because the, the, we, we know that the, the recording device is making a decision in its, in, 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 in its internal components. We know that it's it's constitutes in digital. Um, um, it, it it has a digital framework and turning it into memory. So it's not it's regardless of however it's defined, it's still noticing some kind of decision making, some kind of recollection. And um, to me, that that shows that the even if, if even if it's not an observer, an animal, a human, whatever it is it's still showing some kind of intricateness to space-time, right? And it shows to me that it's more than space-time or singularity is more than some random event chain. It really, after, after that experiment, it, not only, it shook Einstein's world, bro, you know? So it will shake my world, too. So it proves to me that the universe is designed more than anything. I can't really say that God is behind it, but I mean, it, it does bring about God more than anything for me. Um, but yeah, yeah, Taco. Like, imagine right now you are actually like changing atoms bro like you're changing subatomic particles 
into like physical reality. It's crazy to think about. But it's you that's doing that. <clears throat> It does add a layer. It does add some kind of layer. You know? Like, is it God? Is it just naturalistic means? And e either way, it's, it's very cool. It's awesome. But, it, you know, it does signify a design. Or well, a design will, you know? <clears throat> This goes on and on, bro. This goes on and on. Because if the physical universe as well, um, uh, you know, says what it says, what it instantiates, right? And to have these violations of itself means there's some sort of underlying reality to existence more than the naturalistic interpretation, right? <clears throat> I don't know, Taco, you need to give me more time to answer this question. It's not very well structured, but at least you kind of understand where I'm coming from, I hope. Man, now you have me wanting to uh, actually get a little more detail with this. All my notes are on my PC I haven't used in a while. Um... Mm. 